All right, welcome to Thursday Thoughts from the Melda. I was eventually on board the Adora and uh, just coming from a wing slash downwind session. We were um, heading upwind behind me, heading upwind up there and um, with the dinghy, it's with the dinghy as support, heading upwind and literally paddling back down. The, the bumps got a little bit worse now, but basically um, the boys are on their second sort of foundation session first start in the flat water so if anyone learning to downwind foil start the flat water figure out your board how it works paddle to engage the foil and paddle to stay straight basically working on stability second session is getting out in bumps um that can be upwind downwind it can be a little downwind run and you don't have, don't worry about getting up on foil it's just about um putting the time in find the balance on your board find the timing of the bumps um wait for the nose to lift and follow that nose lift or even preempt that nose lift so you then run into the one up in front build your speed and by the time you've got your speed, you're up and foiling on the downhill that's behind you that you can't even see. So, um, yeah, basically we're going to be two or three days into the foil camp here in the Maldives and uh, we've had a bunch of, we've had a bit of wind, so lots of winging. We've had um, a few downwind sessions and um, and then a few wave sessions too. Uh, we've got a few sup, sup surfers on here too, so we're sort of balancing that out. But it's been super fun and for the next two weeks I'm going to be over here in the Maldives too, so Thursday Thoughts are going to be coming from here. Um, I'm over here with Moon Tours and next year I'm doing another one, sort of similar dates, May 2 to May 9, 2024. But yeah, foil camps um, in the Maldives and it's pretty sick to be literally sitting, you know, sitting on the boat behind me, bean bags, boards, and then sort of just wait for the wind to come up, you sort of turn around. Oh, there's a bit of wind, let's, let's go try for a wing. If it's not that windy, you come back in, if you float down wind, the dinghy can come pick you up. Um, <laughs> it's pretty sick, very spoilt for sure. But uh, my thoughts for this week are, I guess a bit of board design stuff. So we, we've got a few different boards on board and uh, all very different designs, um, similar sort of dimensions. We sort of all sort of played around on them. And I guess the biggest thing I've found is um, don't believe, like <clears throat> the, the dimensions are only one thing. So if it's 19 wide, but it's got a bit of a round bottom, it's gonna be fair t a fair bit tippier than 19 wide if it had a bit of a square edge and a straighter rails. Um, and maybe even a double concave. So flat bottoms versus double concave bottoms, um, round rails versus straight rails, hard edges versus soft edges, they all change the stability. So there's a few things going on. So if you're looking for boards, don't just go on dimensions. There's more going on than just that. Um, length, width, volume is one part, but then the design is another part. And uh, it's interesting because lots of brands are doing lots of different boards at the moment and um, they all work, but an 18 wide board or 20 wide board or one brand compared to a 20 wide board and the other brand aren't exactly the same because the design is different. So we're gonna see how it all comes out in the wash, I guess, in the next couple of years, see what boards, what, where everything goes, but there'll always be some sort of difference because we're all compromising on different things. But um, that's my Thursday thoughts for this week from the Maldives, pretty sick. Um, and <laughs> thanks for tuning and listening because um, these Thursday thoughts are just little diary entries basically for what I'm thinking about. Um, oh, one last thing. I've been using my downwind board for prone paddling because it's a little bit shallow here um, and I don't want to scratch out my brand new code foil. I've been uh, using my 610 by 18 paddling into waves and you definitely get in earlier. I think it's a little clunky compared to like a five or four foot board, but um, I'm enjoying it. Um, I'm still not game to really hit the lips here. It's, you know, most of the brakes are offshore and if you fall off, you're likely to sort of run your foil across the reef so I'm yet to find a really nice deep spot where I can attack the lift a bit more on the 610 but uh we had a few tailwinds yesterday which I probably could have but I was driving more than I was surfing which as a coach that's what you got to do but yeah thanks everyone for tuning in and that's Thursday thoughts for this week yeah.